dawn darkness at Cape Canaveral, fuel is piped aboard the Redstone rocket that will carry Captain Virgil Grissom aloft in the second act of the drama that the U.S. hopes will put a man on the moon. The captain, the country's second spaceman, arrives at the launching pad to go aboard the Mercury capsule just about four hours before the scheduled launch. There's a hurried pace to pre-launch preparations, and the astronaut has only time for a quick glance at the sky before taking the gantry elevator. Officials are trying to fit the twice-postponed launching into a clear spot in the fast-changing Florida weather, and it's an accelerated countdown. Still, Captain Grissom will have to sweat it out from 4.30 to 8.20 before takeoff. The cameras record drama at its highest as he goes aboard the capsule to follow in the footsteps of Commander Alan Shepard, Jr., the first U.S. man into space. Again, our space shot is being made in the full glare of worldwide publicity. Unlike the Russians, who have never given any advance billing to their attempts, and no information on their failures, the United States has invited representatives of all nations to witness our success or failure. With the captain aboard, the two-ton, $2 million Mercury capsule, named Liberty Bell 7, is poised atop the redstone as last-minute checks continue. Commander Shepard, the nation's first space traveler, is in the control center as the countdown approaches zero. The historic moment is at hand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Everything about the takeoff and flight is perfect. A bigger window gives the captain such a view he fell behind on his cockpit checks. He controls the flight of his capsule as did Commander Shepard, something the Russian astronaut did not do. His flight carries him 118 miles aloft and 303 miles downrange. During the 16-minute flight, he hits a top speed of 5,280 miles an hour. Helicopters take off from the carrier Randolph to pick up astronaut and capsule as his parachute is sighted. Then the heartbreaking finale. As Captain Grissom prepares to leave the Mercury, the explosive bolts let go and blow off the escape hatch cover. While a helicopter tries vainly to keep the capsule afloat, Grissom is forced to swim clear of the whirling blades so that another craft can pick him up. He's underwater for three minutes in a tense, real-life drama. Captain Grissom is hauled to safety in a sling, again emphasizing the fact that concern for the astronaut is always of prime importance in our space program. While he is rescued, the other helicopter wrestles with the water-filled capsule, but the weight is too great. It has to be cut loose to rest on the bottom of the sea three miles down. A cheering crew on the Randolph welcomes the captain back to the carrier. The nation's second man into space was able to send back invaluable data that pushes forward our program despite the loss of the films and other information aboard the sunken capsule. A salute to Captain Grissom, our new space hero.